it was a cool summer night at the Wembley Stadium in London, England, and the crowds were yelling and cheering as the national women's football team faced off against Germany in the final game of the Euro 2022. This was not just another football game at Wembley. This was the first time that the England women's squad, the Lionesses, had the opportunity to win a major international tournament. It was the 62nd minute and the score was still 0-0. All eyes were on Ella Toon, the young Manchester United forward who had just entered the game. Could she bring her team to victory before the match ended? Day Day Debbie, and this is Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls, a fairy tale podcast about the real life rebel women who inspire us. On this episode, Ella Toon, a fierce footballer who is changing the game for women everywhere. Ella was born September 2nd, 1999, and grew up in Tildesley, a small town only nine miles northwest of Manchester. Her family was incredibly passionate about soccer, or football, as it's called in the UK. One day, when Ella was just a baby, her dad was playing football and a ball bounced into Ella's stroller, knocking her over. Her dad claims that was her way of joining in the game. From the time she was a little girl, Ella was constantly playing with her friends and cousins in the streets. Even though she was younger, she was more determined than any of them. She also played a lot with the boys from her school, staying out until everyone got called in for tea. On weekends, Ella went to watch her brother's games, except she wasn't really watching. She was usually on the sidelines, passing and shooting with all the other kids who wanted to be a part of the game too. See, women's football wasn't really popular yet, or much respected. But all that was about to change, thanks in part to Ella. When Ella was about seven, she was offered a six-week trial at the Manchester United Centre of Excellence. Ella was so excited. Manchester United was her favourite team. Ella got accepted and played with Manchester United for the following seven years, training every single day and trying to get as good as another Manchester United forward, already quite famous, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ella never met him during those years at United, but she watched his videos and practised his skills. After all, he wore the number seven shirt, just like her. Unfortunately, Manchester United didn't have a senior female team yet, So when Ella was ready to play in the senior league, she had to leave and join a different team. But two years later, Manchester United got a women's football team and Ella was so proud to come back home. The amount of fans was unbelievable, Ella says. You would have never have thought there would be that many fans at a women's game. Ella was unstoppable as a midfielder on Manchester United sprinting and attacking, launching herself towards the goal. (laughs) Pretty soon, she was named Women's Championship Player of the Month and Manchester United's top scorer. Which brings us back to that momentous game in 2022 against Germany at Wembley Stadium. Ella was representing her home country as part of England's women's national team, the Lionesses. She was definitely feeling as bold and feisty as a lioness, too. Ella had just come in as a substitute when a pinpoint through ball from midfield maestro Kira Walsh sent Ella running straight towards Germany's goal. Germany's defence swooped in to try and stop her, but Ella held strong. She saw the goalkeeper coming out and chipped the ball just past her, right into the net. The stadium went wild. Ella felt the sea of cheers and applause lifting her up. She says it was the best feeling in the world. That day, England won the European title for the first time ever. 
and Ella became known as one of the strongest female football players in the world. Today, Ella continues to play with Manchester United and the Lionesses. She also loves speaking out about the importance of women's football. And in 2023, she was thrilled to unveil a new football pitch named after her. Just a short distance from her hometown, the Ella Toon pitch actually includes two full-size football turf pitches, a changing pavilion and a community cafe. There is plenty of space for players of all gender to come and enjoy playing, practicing, and sharing their love of football. As Ella posted, when I started playing football, I would have never have imagined that years later I'd have a pitch named after me. I hope that this pitch will inspire others to dream big and love the game like I do. Dreaming big and aiming high is the rebel way. And with Ella leading the charge, anything is possible. This podcast is a production of Rebel Girls. It's based on the book series Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. This episode was narrated by me, Day Day Debbie. It was produced and directed by Joy Smith with sound design and mixing by Mumble Media. It was written by Eleanor Favilli and edited by Abby Scher. Fact checking by Joe Ratigan. Our executive producers are Joy Smith and Jess Wolf. Original theme music was composed and performed by Electra Bar Jockey. A special thanks to the whole Rebel Girls team who make this podcast possible. Until next time, stay Rebel! Rebel!